Welcome back to MotoGP Insider. Today, we're diving into the exhilarating world of MotoGP, where we witnessed a heart-pounding event unfold in the French Grand Prix. Brace yourselves as we take a closer look at Marc Marquez, the legendary rider and six-time MotoGP world champion who made a thrilling comeback in this crash-filled race. Marquez, coming off a three-round injury layoff, stunned everyone as he roared back onto the circuit. Against all odds, he qualified on the front row in what was his comeback weekend. And then came the race day, a day filled with roaring engines and palpable tension. Marquez didn't just take part, he led, he commanded, he showed us why he's one of the greats. Briefly, he took the lead in Sunday's Grand Prix, leaving everyone gasping. But the drama wasn't over yet. The most thrilling duel of the race took shape when Marquez locked horns with Promax Jorge Martin. As the laps wound down, it was a relentless fight for the coveted second spot. Marquez in his indomitable spirit, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Martin, pushing his Honda to its limits, not for a moment giving up. This is Marc Marquez, folks, a man who'd rather go down fighting for a podium spot than simply settling for less. In a moment that brought every spectator to the edge of their seats, Marquez's adrenaline-fueled race took an unexpected turn. Just as the finish line was in sight, with just two laps remaining, the unthinkable happened. Marquez, who had been locked in a fierce battle with Premax Jorge Martin for second place, lost control at the notorious turn six. The scene unfolded in the blink of an eye. The Honda wobbled as Marquez accelerated, unsettling him in the braking zone for turn seven. This led to a heart-stopping crash that took Marquez out of the running for the podium finish he so desperately craved. This twist of fate meant that despite his commendable comeback, Marquez was yet to cross the finish line of a Grand Prix in 2023. But if you think this crash dampened Marquez's spirits, think again. The renowned rider took it all in stride, embodying the true essence of a seasoned racer. In the face of disappointment, Marquez opted to focus on the silver linings, noting that he was very, very happy about the race, despite the crash that ended his run prematurely. In a display of true grit and a never-say-die attitude, Marquez revealed his unyielding resolve. He expressed his preference to lose a race while fighting for a podium spot rather than settling for a safe but uninspiring 10th place finish. To him, this race, this crash, was a proof to his drive and determination, to his refusal to be anything less than the best. Despite the hurdles, Marquez remains committed to improving, demonstrating a resilience that is as inspiring as it is impressive. Despite the crash, Marquez showed signs of his old self. He felt good during the race and was able to hold his own against the other riders. His performance was filled with late-breaking, controlled sliding, and an aggressive fight for the podium. Marquez's regained confidence was clearly on display. He stated, it's a long time ago that I was feeling like this myself, not with the bike. That's a statement that bodes well for his future performances. In terms of strategy, Marquez raced on the new Calex chassis, and it seems to have made a small difference. However, he was clear in stating that the new chassis is not the ultimate solution. Honda has had its fair share of challenges in the MotoGP circuit, and the most alarming of these are the recurring crashes. Marquez himself pointed out, Every year all the Honda riders we are in the top ranking of crashing. Marquez is pushing for Honda to be more competitive, more safe. He sees the need for change, for improvement. His teammate, world champion Joan Mir, who also used the Kalex frame, has been struggling and crashing. Marquez recognizes these issues and is determined to tackle them head on. Marquez is candid about Honda's current state. He said, we need to change something for the future to be more competitive. He knows it's a team effort, and he's ready to lead that charge. As we wrap up, remember Marquez is a fighter, a man who would rather crash fighting for the podium than finish in the 10th position. With his determination, skill, and drive, we're excited to see how he navigates these challenges in the future. So what do you think of Marc Marquez's remarks after French Grand Prix? Let us know in the comments section. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to MotoGP Insider for more latest updates.